Konnichiwa detective boys! Surprised to see me for another Conan video? Well, I was very surprised when I researched some of the facts of this video. Because today we're gonna look at the names and their meanings of Detective Conan characters. So I'll let you know I'm very close to catching up with the anime where it is now. It's at episode 965 as of January 5th and I'm at episode 917, so a bit more than a year behind. But since I only have one year of the anime left, what better way is there to stretch that out a bit than doing research about the names and giving this video to the community of my fellow detective boys. In my video I'll try to explain both the meanings of the kanji of the characters, so you know Japanese names are written with Chinese characters, and I'll let you know what they mean individually, so you get a little kanji lesson with this to my fellow Japanese learners. And I'll also interpret the name and give the origin. Sometimes Gosho Aoyama, the creator of the anime, has told people directly what the names mean and sometimes people have been theorizing on the internet, so I dived deep into the World Wide Web, aka ConanWorld.com, <laughs> DetectiveConanWorld.com. Of course I'll just do that with the Japanese names, I'm not going to interpret the English names because I just find it strange to think of Shinichi and Lan as Jimmy and Rachel. No thank you. First let's start with Shinichi aka Conan. So if you have watched as much as the first episode of the show you will know what Conan stands for. Of course it's Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, the creator of Sherlock Holmes. So when Ryan confronts the freshly shrunk Shinichi about his name as coincidence would have it, his head is just next to the Sherlock Holmes novel and the name Conan is written on there. So he tells her he's named Conan. Easy peasy and there is no kanji for this, it's just written in katakana which is the Japanese syllable alphabet for foreign names. So nothing else in there, that's just, it's just because of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. But did you know about Edogawa actually? Edogawa means for one Edo River, Edo is the former name of Tokyo which means like Bay Area because Tokyo is Bay Area. And the third kanji is Kawa, which is red Gawa in compound nouns. Yeah, compound nouns. And it means river. So the literal meaning, I, you can interpret even that because you know Edo is the former name for Tokyo, so it's the former name for something very famous. So Shinichi is very famous, and Conan gives himself a name for something that used to be famous. But more importantly, the name was chosen for a more symbolic reason even, because it was from, taken from another famous detective novelist, namely Taro Hirai. But that's not his only name, he's more famously known as Edogawa Rampo. And if that name rings a bell for you, that might be because it's taken from Edgar Allan Poe. Edogawa Rampo. Takes a bit of fantasy to get there. <laughs> but that's literally why Edogawa Rampo was called Edogawa Rampo, because of Edgar Allan Poe. We'll encounter Sir Edogawa Rampo and his works again in this video, but that's it for now. Number two, or maybe still number one in a way, let's name it number one D, is Shinichi Kuro, and his kanji literally mean new, one, construction, and wisteria. If you know a little bit of Japanese, you will easily be able to tell Shinichi is like pretty easy standard kanji that you learn early on. But of course Shinichi does not only mean new one, because that would be a bit lame. No, Japanese has many homophones and Shinichi is a pun using one of these homophones because Shin does not only mean new, it also means truth, but it has a different kanji. So basically it's a pun on one truth, which is a famous quote by Sherlock Holmes, there's always only one truth. The more you know. And Kudo, we will see this a lot in this video, and probably for Japanese people this is really clear because most of these names are taken from other famous detective novels. But Kudo actually comes from the fictional detective Shunsaku Kudo, created by Nobumitsu Kodaka. Now you know, so Shinichi Kudo, One Truth, and another detective dude. So with all this knowledge about names being taken from detective novels, can you guess where Professor Agasa's name comes from? Yes, you're right, it's from Agatha Christie. Let's look at the kanji of Professor Agatha first. So, Hiroshi actually sounds like prosperous, but it is another pun. It is written like the Japanese kanji for Professor, Hakase. So, literally, Hakase Agatha. Professor Agatha. <clears throat> and Agatha, both of the kanji, means something like shade. I just looked them up because I didn't know either of them. 
if anybody has better ideas why these specific kanji were chosen. I don't know if Professor Agasa is a shade queen. <laughs> Number three, Ran Mori. Where would we be without Conan's love interest? So her name Ran is written with the kanji for orchid and Mori actually means hair and profit which could not be more perfect for our hair spike girl. Of course the orchid also kind of connects her to Shinichi because they both have a flower kanji in their name, Kudo with Kiria. I don't know. So the name Ran actually comes from the French writer Maurice Marie Emile Leblanc, who was a French novelist and writer of short stories, and he's the creator of Lupin, who also has an anime counterpart. And Lupin the detective is the French counterpart of Sherlock Holmes, basically. So that's where Ran's name comes from. And the same is true for her last name because Marie. Mori, Mori, Mori comes from Maurice. They just kind of turn it around. Le Buran into Ran and Mori. Number four, Kogoro Mori. So Kogoro literally means small five man and hair prophet just like Ran. Kanji, do with that what you will. Do you suspect Kogoro of being five man in a trench coat now? It might be, it might be. But actually the name Kogoro was chosen because of Kogoro Akechi, who was the detective created by Erogawa Rampo. See, it's all coming together. And of course, Mori is the same as Ran's name, taken from the Maurice Leblanc. And actually the kanji for Mori, I haven't told you this before, comes from the former feudal lord, Mori Motonari. The hair prophet, feudal lord, the hair prophet. <laughs> Number five, my personal favorite, Ai Haibara. The literal meanings of her individual kanji are sorrow, ash, and original. And as you know, Ai Haibara is also shrunk like Conan, so this name is made up by the professor and her. So, and Agasa in the anime or manga, I don't know, I found this online, <laughs> says that her name comes from Cordelia Gray and V. I. Warshawski, which is both like characters in another novel. So the I, like the English letter I, is I, and Cordelia Gray, the character, the first character name means Ash. So like basically Ash and origin together mean Gray. I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me either, but the origin story according to Professor Agasa, Christy. And Agasa actually wanted to pick the kanji for love, I, for her, as if you know some Japanese, you know that's that really complicated kanji. But actually, I because she is the tsundere queen we all want to be. She wanted to have the kanji for sorrow. And a more out of text explanation is actually given by Gosho Ayama in an interview. He said that the name for I was chosen because of Irene Adler, the woman in Sherlock Holmes' life. And he actually also said that her whole character is inspired by Irene Adler. And if you know Sherlock Holmes, you you could see the parallels. And I'm gonna make one little exception to acknowledging the English names, whereas I find Jimmy and Rachel really horrible. Actually, I's name is Anita, so there's that. My favorite character is named like me in English. For more, those are probably the most interesting characters by name, but there are some other characters that appear often, which I don't want to keep from you where the names come from. Number six is Heiji Hattori. So the literal kanji mean flat next and close and department. But Heiji's name actually comes from the fictional Edo period police detective Zenigata Heiji and a famous samurai and ninja Hattori Hanzo. His surname also stems from Inspector Hattori, a police officer who often cooperates with detective Shunsaku Kudo of the Japanese TV drama Tante Monogatari or Detective Tales. Well, if that isn't a cool name, I don't know. Number seven is Sonoko Suzuki, and I really wish I could tell you a lot of interesting things about her. First of all, her kanji are literally garden, child, bell, tree. N not much there, I don't know. I guess she had a garden because she's rich <laughs> and she's a child. Um, but there isn't much interesting about the actual origin of the name. It's just rumored. I really translated pages and pages of Japanese uh, name origin theory size for Detective Connor names, but it is theorized that she's either some kind of violinist or just a kohai of Gosho Aoyama. So you decide for yourself what you want to believe about Sonoko. 
It's just strange that she's like the only one who doesn't have any connection to detective novels. But that's just how it goes sometimes. Let's get to number eight, Jutsu Megore, which literally means eyes living 13. Jutsu Megore comes from Jules Magret, a fictional Paris police detective created by writer Georges Simon. <laughs> Sorry, I had to turn on the lights because it was getting dark because I need so long to film apparently. So number nine is detective Wataru Takagi, who is one of my favorite characters because who doesn't love a clumsy police inspector? All his kanji mean literally high tree and negotiation. And his name originated because they did an off script ad lib and he was asked for his name and character and he answered with his own name. So they just decided to keep it. And Gosho had a good reason to keep the name. He included the name Wataru Takagi because it's also the name of a detective created by Kenzo Kitakata named Yoshibumi Takagi, where only the first kanji in the surname is similar. Not bad, huh? <laughs> so, voice actors in Japan are always quite famous, but I think this one is even known to people abroad. So, well done, Mr. Wataru Takagi. And number 10, finally, the love interest of Mr. Wataru Takagi is um, called Miwako Sato, which literally means beauty some child, f beautiful first name. And her last name means Help Wisteria. Help Wisteria. Wisteria is Shinchikuto. Oh my god, it all makes. Can't be coincidence. Other than that, sadly, there is no story here. People say that it's taken from one of Aoyama Gosho's friends. And maybe, maybe he wants to hook her up with Wataru Takagi in real life because they're both real people, then, right? So. Maybe that old man was planning something with both of them. Though these were the names of the OG characters to me. But let's get to a little bonus round before I end this video. So first of all, the detective boys are named after Irogawa Rampo's novel too, because actually the name giver of Kogoro Mori is in a club called the Detective Boy. So let's quickly go through the boys' detective club's names. Oh my god, those are a lot of genitives. Um, first of all, Ayumi Yoshida means Step Real North River and is inspired by the mystery writer Ayumi Kitagawa with slightly different kanji. <laughs> Second, Mitsuhiki Tsubaraya means literally Light Prince Circle Valley and his name is inspired by the novelist Yasui Uchida's reporter character Mitsuhiko Asami. Asami Mitsuhiko. And last but not least, Genta Kojima's name literally means origin thick, small island. And Genta's name also comes from a mystery writer, yet another mystery writer named Hajime Komine. And final, final, final fun fact, you know that Conan lives in Beka City and that's also where Mori's detective agency is. And if you've been to Tokyo, you know that Beka City doesn't exist, but with all the knowledge of today, you can probably guess why it's called Beka City. Yes. It's inspired by 221B Baker Street. So I hope you found the findings of my video just as interesting as I did. I was literally researching all day and I was like, oh my God, this name means that. This name means that. I can't believe it. And there are many, many more name meanings, especially the dark organization and all the alcohols. I would love to get into it, but I think this is enough for one video. And if you liked it, I will probably make another one. And probably even if you didn't like it, I'll make another one because I love Detective Conan. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.